is. So today I want to focus on some uh, mindset habits to help you actually what these are called. These are known as, for me, they're known as feel good habits. So habits are something that you do. You would do to be productive and, and to get work done. And I think they're wonderful. I am really big though on a different kind of habit. Habits that help you feel good. Because feeling good is the only real goal, okay? Something I want to remind you that um, happiness is not a goal. It's a feeling and it's inside you. You don't have to work for it. You already have it. So we're not going to hinge our happiness on any sort of thing outside ourselves because now we're vulnerable. Now we're not able to respond based on our good feelings because they are being attached to, well, maybe they're attached to what other people think of you. Maybe they're attached to your environment, your circumstances. When we need people to do certain things, to be happy, so that we can be happy, then it's really depleting. It's hard on you. It's far better if you can just feel good. Your only goal is to feel good. And so it's really not a goal. It's a feeling. So these are feel good habits. I thought I'd just cover one today, really simple one that's really gonna help you. I just wanna remind you that the longer you stare at a problem, the longer you look at stress and you think about challenging situations, the longer you're in worry, doubt, fear, anger, the more it will hold you back. You see, there is no way forward as long as you feel that way. It's that feeling that's holding you back. We all want to move forward. The way you move forward is by feeling good. And so here's a quick, simple mindset shift that's going to help you move forward. You have one goal. You want to spend 17 seconds. That's all it takes, 17 seconds to raise your vibration. Okay, we're talking about good vibes. We're talking about feeling good. Everybody wants that right now. There's so much uncertainty. And the longer you stare down uncertainty and problems, the further away you get from feeling good. You just can't move forward. Here's what you're doing. You're rummaging around in the past, yesterday, last week, last month. How long have we been in COVID? A year and a half? So the longer you think about your stress and your problems, the further away you get from moving forward. You've got to feel good. And the only way to do that is to feel good. It's actually, what's so great about it, it's actually really easy to feel good. It is, it's just a feeling inside you. You don't really have to do a whole lot. You just have to believe in it. You have to feel it and not attach it to things working out for you. Do you see how that would work? I mean, you wake up in the morning and you think, as long as everything works out exactly the way that I want, then I'll be happy. Your chances of being happy or next to nothing. Because people don't just line up and do everything that you want. I don't know if you've noticed this, but what you believe isn't the same thing everyone else believes. You see, all a belief is a thought that you keep thinking. So whatever those thoughts are for you right now, if you're thinking about fear, you're bringing more fear. It's all about um, every thought has a vibration. So it's only going to take you 17 seconds to change that vibration. And so positive thoughts vibrate at a half higher frequency. So I can feel it in me if I feel negative or happy. I feel it as a vibration. Uh, and that's just because I have done over 500,000 hours of meditation. Yeah, I know it's a lot, but I keep track of it on my meditation app and I've been meditating for over 25 years. I mean, not every single day, but vibration. And, and this isn't just me, by the way. This is the, tr this is the way our thoughts operate. Our thoughts carry a vibrational frequency. Ask Google if you want. But if you carry a positive thought for long enough, it creates a positive, feel-good, forward momentum, and now you're moving forward. So here's your habit to help you to do that. All you have to do is remember, first of all, only positive thought takes you forward. So you can reach for any positive thought you like. Happiness, optimism, 
What about compassion and kindness? They're great. Uh, what about hope, possibility, success? So I just want to remind you, success is a feeling. It feels good. You can think about your success and it can make you feel really good. Uh, it's also a doing. So it's also something that you work towards. I don't think a lot about the goal of success. I think about the feeling and I feel a feeling. And that's where all my success comes from. I'm not a hustler. I don't work really hard at trying to reach goals. I just don't. I believe and it comes to me. And the reason why is because of those positive vibrations. It's just the way it works. You can believe me or you don't have to. It's up to you. Um, there's really one thing that you can do to help you move forward and that's simply stop staring at stress and expecting it to go away or look good to you. All you need to do, <laughs> instead of looking at what you don't want, look at what you do want. Start thinking about what you want. Okay, so I know you don't want to have conflict with people that you care about. You don't want that. So what do you want? Well, you probably want a good relationship with them. You probably want to move forward. So think about that. I know you don't want to sit around and complain and be upset or depressed or, or unhappy about our circumstances, our economy, this COVID. So what, what do you want? I started asking myself this around six months ago and it was so dramatic for me. I want people to start moving forward. I want to move forward. I want to feel good. I want to know that um, I think there's tremendous potential out there. So much is pent up right now. So many people have not been able. We're isolated. We're in house arrest. We haven't been able to do the things that we need to do. And so there's all this pent up demand. I see tremendous potential. There's great opportunity. There's great hope out there. Why don't we think about that? So health problems, or you don't want to feel tired, or you don't want to be sick. So instead of thinking about those things, start thinking about healthiness. Start thinking about, about yourself being vital in your health and in your wellness. These are, it's a very simple shift. But here's what, what I want you to see. It's all about direction. As long as you keep looking at problems or stress, you're moving backwards. You're thinking about the past. It was yesterday. It was last week. It was, I mean, even if you're carrying around an extra 10 pounds, I think I'm carrying around uh, 20, but this is all something I gained from the past. I'm not going to sit around and think about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I want to move forward. So I would start thinking about through vitality. I would start thinking about, well, first, why not e think about easily losing weight if that's what you wanted to do? Imagine it just falling off of you. Imagine it being fun. And you imagine naturally reaching for nutritious food. So this is a different way of going after a goal. Instead of uh, writing down all the foods that you eat and analyzing the problem and staring at the weight scale, because this is all, all fear-based to me. You're looking at a problem. My scale looks too high. <laughs> and, but however, all you do is turn it around. Start thinking about what you really want. What do you want? Well, yeah, I would love to enjoy losing weight. I'd love to have a lot of vitality. I'd love to feel really good every day and know that my body can actually handle a, a sweets. I want to know that actually I, can, my, I have a great immune system. I tell myself all the time, I have a great immune system. Tell yourself that. Think about health. Don't think about fear, worry, doubt. So we only move forward when we feel good and when we move forward and the two things always go together. So I just want you to do that one feel good habit is always, always going to feel good. When you decide to stop looking at problems and start looking at solutions, it's always going to feel good. When you decide future and ask yourself, what do I want? Whenever you feel stressed, stuck, you're not moving forward. Ask yourself, what do I want? And when you answer, make sure it feels good and you're on your way.